Hello, fabulous friends, fans, and superstars. Welcome to your horoscope for the week of September 6, 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. My neighbors are having a very wild and very loud party, so if you can hear it, I hope you enjoy it. But let's talk about this week because it really is very special. And what is so special takes place right in the middle of the week on Wednesday. So right around Wednesday, two big occurrences. One is Mars officially going retrograde. This is a big main event that we have been looking forward to, that a lot of people are talking about. And it is whenever a planet is still in the sky, preparing to and just changing directions that it is at the height of of its power, the height of its energy. We feel that part of us because ultimately all the planets are a part of us. We feel it that much more. That energy is that much more on the surface. And so with Mars having to do with our own passion, our own frustration, perhaps even our own anger as well, our own sense of aggression. Well, it can be at this time that people are especially sensitive to how it is that others are using their power and where it is that perhaps others feel that they have power over us. Now, remember, I did speak at length about the Mars retrograde season and what these key moments are going to mean, how they're going to speak to us, what they're going to represent in a separate Mars retrograde special video. And so please click on the link in the description below because that gives you a much more thorough understanding of how significant, how important this Mars retrograde season and Mars shifting and changing directions is for us as a collective, certainly, but as your own sign and in your own chart as well. And so it becomes that much more important for each of us to be mindful of our own reactions to others, where it is that perhaps we are feeling our buttons pushed and where it is that perhaps others may be feeling that way as well, because energies and sensitivities will be very high. But there's something else happening on the same day, and that is a beautiful, rare alignment between the Sun and Jupiter. Now, this alignment happens about twice a year, so not as rare as when Mars is changing directions, which happens about twice every two years, so that makes that energy more special. However, it is this energy, this trine of Jupiter and the sun that has been considered and conceptualized as one of the more fortunate days of the year. Now, I truly believe that the universe is in a divine dance, that nothing happens by mistake, and that whenever there are energies playing out, there is a way in which they are integrated. And that is the case here. On the one hand, we do have energy that can speak to being aggravated. And yet we have energy that is tremendously healing. We have energy that can have all our emotions coming right to the surface. And we also have energy of tremendous opportunity and optimism and possibility as well. This is energy of sheer luck. Now it is Jupiter that is in the sign of Capricorn. This is a sign that has to do with success. It is the sun that is in the sign of Virgo, an energy that is practical, that has to do with how we are actually living our days, how it is that we are utilizing our smallest moments to align with something that feels more meaningful and where it is that we are cultivating mastery. These two energies coming together like this suggests that either there is recognition for mastery or that there's a clarity as to what is worth giving our energy and our time to that is going to align us with a higher, more loving vision for our lives. Regardless, each one of us in at least one area of life is going to experience a measure of success. Now, some of this energy is tempered by the fact that late in the week, we are going to have the sun standing across the sky from Neptune. Now, this is a part of the sky that has been especially blessed as of late. We've had beautiful connections that Mercury has made from here. Last week, the sun spoke in supreme harmony with Uranus. And now, with the sun speaking in supreme harmony with Jupiter. Next week, beautiful energy playing out in the sign of Virgo. 
This is going to be a big blessing to all of us in at least one area of life, the earth signs in particular, but really all of us will find ways to benefit, especially from the new moon energy next week. However, there's this one little moment and it really just represents a moment with the sun standing across the sky from Neptune right around Friday. This is energy that can speak to uncertainty. It can speak to fear. It can speak to a sense of illusions and perhaps disappointment, a sense that our best efforts are now being washed away. And I'm so sorry to say that, but it does happen. With this particular energy, there may be some sense that perhaps our best efforts may not necessarily amount to anything. Remember, this is a moment and that's all it is. The energy is so good. If it is that a particular opportunity or where you hoped there would be some progress seems to not be working out or it's very clear that's not working out, it is okay to acknowledge it because it means that something even better is wanting to come in. And if it is our own fears that are coming to the surface, it's a good idea to acknowledge them and know that we will find cleansing as a result. At the very beginning of the week, we are going to have Venus changing signs and Venus is going to move into the sign of Leo, the sign of all things fabulous. And this tends to bring with it a focus on those whom we consider especially fabulous. So we look at things like celebrities and the people who have the attention in the collective. With Venus here, there tends to be that much more love for stardom, for those people who have the glitz and glamour around them. And it also is our own star power that we start to pay attention to. It is confidence that pays off. It is Venus, after all, that is an energy of blessing. She was called the lower benefic. So benefic means blessing. And to the ancients, it was Jupiter that was considered the higher benefic and Venus considered the lower benefic. And so she brings blessings, maybe not as big, certainly not as big to the ancients as Jupiter may bring, but blessings nonetheless. And it is Venus now that is inviting us to bring forward our most confident self. It is when we own our power, when we are willing to shine and be seen, when it is that we own our worthiness to shine and be seen, that Venus is able to deliver most of her blessings. And it may very well be in love that we find ourselves more drawn to, more attracted to people who represent the sense of confidence, who are able to be bold in their statements of attraction. And more of us are going to want to feel special to another person, to feel special to anyone with whom we may be in partnership with. And where it is that sometimes perhaps over the top uh, statements of love are presented, we feel that much more in alignment with a feeling of truly being loved as a result. What I love about this week for us, well, it's got to be that gorgeous alignment between the sun and Jupiter. This is about recognition. This is about optimism. It is about us bringing forward a real sense of connection as to where it is that we do something very well. The sun is, after all, in the sign of Virgo. And it is what we repeatedly do that we become experts at. With energy like this, not only is expertise rewarded, but it moves us into alignment with a greater sense of authority as well. More and more of us are going to be seeing the world optimistically. And as much as that Mars standing still in the sky may heighten energy, may heighten irritation, the fact that this beautiful alignment is taking place on the same day, well, it tells me that what otherwise could be quite volatile ends up being tempered in key ways. Tempered in the sense that we are able to look at what life is actually showing us and it invites us to be practical, to think about what we're creating in the smallest moments and to find tremendous power and blessing right there. Well, thank you so much for watching. What do you love about this week? Let me know in the comments below. I love reading you guys and of course, if you want to know how all this wonderful stuff this week speaks to you in your sign, log on to NadiaShaw.com, 
sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more, all of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. I have big announcements, of course. Synchronicity University is on. We had our first class earlier today and it was so lovely. Thank you to everybody who joined us live. And of course, the majority of people who sign up, they like to wait for the download and watch it then. I appreciate each and every one of you. We spoke about the moon, part one. Next week, we're going to speak about the moon as well, part two on the moon. And of course, I think the star attraction, what everybody's kind of waiting for, is tarot for astrologers. That is going to take place a little bit later in the autumn session. You can still sign up for single classes or the entire session by going on to synchronicityuniversity.com or click on the link in the description below. The speaker series is underway as well. This past week, I had April Cosmic Homegirl on my uh, platform at Synchronicity University, and she did such a great job. I was so grateful for that. And it is going to be this coming week that will feature Michael Barwick. And so Michael Barwick is going to teach on fixed stars, very highly requested topic, and he really is an expert at it. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be really insightful. He's so knowledgeable. And so if you'd like to sign up for that class or you'd like to access the entire series, again, click on the links in the description below. We would love to have you. Now, if you can't get enough learning, if you just need more classes, I'm thrilled to announce that I am going to be part of an all-star weekend. It is astroconference.com that you're going to visit. And it is here that you will be able to sign up to hear some of the most influential, brilliant astrologers alive today. I feel like it is such a privilege to be asked to be part of this incredible group of people. This event is going to take place uh, late in September. So I will be sure to put the information up here on the screen to click on the link in the description below. Now, the organizers have been very kind. They have offered a 50% off coupon. I can't believe it. They are actually offering 50% off. I think it's as low as 99 pounds because it is rooted in England with the coupon code. And it is friends and fans and superstars and students of mine that have that special code and have access to that special code. So I will be sure to put that in the description below. You can go on really some of the most legendary astrologers alive today are part of this incredible conference. And if you really want to learn from the best of the best in astrology today, this is a conference to check out. If you check out one astrological event this year, I would say this really would be it. And at this price point with the discount code, uh, you really can't beat it. So I will put information in the description box below, along with the coupon code that you can use to get that half price rate only for friends, fans, superstars, and students of mine. Now, I'm very excited to share with you that I have books. Yes, I have books. They're available now wherever books are sold. My three most recent books were uh, number one new releases on Amazon in their category in New Age Astrology. Thank you so much for making my books be so popular. I'm so grateful for your trust. And so I have Prayers to the Sky, which is like astrological magic light. It shows you how I like to work with the planets. It features mythologies um, and so that you get to know the planets more personally. I have my most recent book, which is The Universe is Wise and Loving. And this is on the nodes of the moon. It's been very popular. Thank you for that. I have The Body and the Cosmos. And this is me nerding out, <laughs> really is how I describe it. This is me connecting the ideas of Plato to an astrological sky. And it includes meditations for each and every sign. And then I have Astrology Realized as well. This is my very first book. And this is a really great beginner's guide to understanding not only the historical and philosophical development of astrology, I think that's what makes this book unique is that it goes through the historical understanding of how astrology has been understood. But then it shows you the step-by-step -step beginning steps you need to know to actually read a chart for yourself. 
Every one of these books is available wherever books are sold. Now, I am going to be offering uh, signed copies of my books as well. So be on the lookout for that uh, coming up later this month. But if you just can't wait or you want an ebook quality, remember wherever books are sold, you can get those books. And thank you uh, for loving them, for your positive feedback, your positive interactions. It means so much to me. Now, finally, of course, my beautiful, wonderful partnership with Cosmogram. You can get my interpretation of your unique birth chart by going on to their website by clicking on the link in the description below. That'll take you right to an explanation and understanding of what you actually get. You enter your birth data and within hours you will be emailed a PDF copy, a PDF that you can print out and keep forever, save forever, cherish forever, that takes you through the planets in your chart, their signs, their houses, their aspects, and what I think about it, what my interpretation is of these particular placements. So this is fascinating. It is also something that I hope you cherish forever. So if you would like that, my interpretation of your unique birth chart, click on the link in the description below. You can see a sample copy there so you know what you're getting. And I hope that you love and cherish it forever. Now, finally, I do want to thank my sponsor for this episode, Intention Beads. Intention Beads, they make amazing uh, hand-painted talismans at astrological moments to capture that energy and the owner i know her personally she is just such a lovely person and so i hope that you will check out what it is that they do they have all kinds of products and they truly are so very beautiful so again link in the description below and thank you thank you so much for this moment with you thank you for your trust it means so much to me i hope that the music in the background added to whatever it is that I was saying and sharing and that ultimately we trust the divine perfection of all these things, right? Um, but I truly am so very grateful. And Synchronicity University is on. The speaker series is going so well. Thank you for your love and enthusiasm, not only for what I share, but for astrology itself. It really is so inspiring to me. Thank you. Okay. Thank you again for watching. It'll be a great week. Enjoy.